Okay, we're going to do some multiplication practice. Um, first, using the area model. All right. So let's take a look at these four problems right here. We're going to find the product and complete the area model to solve. So we have 85 times 23. So when we're doing 85 times 23, we have been working on breaking apart our numbers. So I'm going to break apart 80 five into 80 plus five, and then 23 into 20 plus three, all right? Now, you're gonna look and we're gonna find out what is going inside of each of these four uh, partial products, all right? And then we're gonna put each product inside each of the four boxes, and then we're going to add them, all right? So, this first box is 80 times 20. 80 times 20, well, 8 times 2 is 16. And bring the two zeros over. All right? Then we have the 80 times 3. So it's picture yourself in the center of the box. Shoot to the top, that's one factor. And shoot to the side is another factor. All right? So 80 times 3 will be, well, 8 times 3 is 24. Bring the 0, and that's 240. Now we have the two other area uh, blank partial products. 20 times 5, well, 2 times 5 is 10. One more 0 is 100, and then 5 times 3 is 15. All right, now you're going to take your four partial products. You may be able to add them in your head, but right now I'm going to line them up and make sure I'm lining them up right on top of each other in the correct place values. And when I add these up, five, five, nine, and one. 1,955. Now that's 85. Right, 85 times 23. I'm gonna go over here and do 85 times 23 using the standard algorithm, all right? So I'm going to now start and go three times five is 15, like that. Now I'm gonna go, so that is the three times five and now I'm gonna do three times eight and carry the one. Three times eight is 24, plus the one is 25. Now, when we're doing standard algorithm, like we are right here, I have to put a placeholder as once I'm going to the next place value, because now I'm gonna be multiplying everything by 20. So I don't have to say 20, I could just say two, because this zero lets me know that I'm moving into my tenths place. Okay. Two times five is 10, put the one to zero. And then two times eight, I'm butterflying it, is 16 plus one is 17. Add it up, five, five, nine, one. 1,955, which is what we have here. So right there gave you the area model to multiply a two digit by two digit, and the standard algorithm. You can choose which method, which method you feel, um, you feel more comfortable with. Now, let's go over here. 56 times 34, 50 plus six, 30 plus four, okay? Now, now I'm going to go, oh, sorry, the pen, my, my pen isn't working. All right, I'll try one more time, otherwise we'll, okay. So we'll go, okay, so now we're going to 50 times three goes in this first box in the top left. That's 15. 
1500. Now, if you want, you could write 1500 right up there. Let's go into the next box. 50 times 4. 5 times 4 is 20. Bring the 0, that's 200. Oops, sorry. Now, I have the 6. 6 times 30 is 180. And 6 times 4 is 24. Now here I lined up everything on top of each other in the correct place value. 4, 10, that's 6, 8, 9, 1,904. All right. Okay. Now 56 times 34. If I go over here, 56 times 34 using the standard algorithm. Four times six is 24. Now I have four times five is 20. Oh, I did four times six. Now I'm doing four times five is 20, plus the two is 22. Now I'm done with that number that I carried over, and I'm done with the four. Now I'm gonna put my placeholder which is the zero, because I'm now moving to that three, which is really 30. Now, three times six is 18. Bring over one and eight down here. And then three times five is 15, plus one is 16. Now, let's add four, 10, nine, 1,904 is the same you have the same product on both methods, all right? So, and this is what you wanna do. You wanna be careful. Um, I will do another one. I'll do the 27 times 29, all right? 20 plus seven and 20 plus nine, all right? Now work carefully, 20 times 20 is 400. 20 times 9 is 180, so I could write it in here as I'm putting the products in. Oh, make sure my zero looks like a zero. There you go. Now 20 times 7 is 140, and 9 times 7 is 63. Need to know our facts. And now let's add 0, 0, 0, and 3 is 3. 8 and 4 is 12, and 6 is 18. 1 and 4 is 5, and 1 is 6, and 1 is 7. So you have 783. I'm not going to check it the standard algorithm for time, but you can do that on your own as well. And now 55 times 28. Well, that's 50 plus 5 and 20 plus 8. Okay? 50 times 20, well, I know 5 times 2 is 10, but there's two zeros, that's a thousand. 50 times eight, well, five times eight is 40. Add one zero, that's 400. Five times 20 is five times two is 10, but now there's one zero, so that's 100. And then five times eight is 40. Now you see here, this is easy for me to add in my head. A thousand and 400 is 1400, another hundred is 1500. 1,540, all right? So this is just going over how we use the area model. You could practice with any. Have your parents give you any two by two digit number. Doesn't matter what they give you. You could use the area model or you can use standard, standard algorithm, okay? Either method is completely fine.